Today, in another big win for a DOJ prosecutor is another big prison sentence for a member of the extremist right-wing Oath Keepers group, with sentencing for a second member underway right now. This comes one day after the founder of the group received the longest January 6th sentence yet. But unlike Stuart Rhodes, who got an 18-year sentence despite not being physically present at the insurrection, the two Army veterans in court today were there in force leading stack formations up the steps of the Capitol. Jessica Watkins was sentenced to eight and a half years behind bars. Kenneth Harrelson just about to learn his fate. NBC's Ryan Riley joins us now with the latest. So not as much as prosecutors ask for, if I'm recalling correctly, Ryan, but significant time. What more can you tell us about these two cases? Yeah, well, you know, Jessica Watkins' case is really interesting because she's a trans woman who has uh, joined uh, the military and had obviously some issues um, within the military when they had much more restrictive policies than uh, they, they they do today. So the judge com uh, commented on how she's had a very tough life um, and, you know, this interesting sort of backstory to how she came uh, to be to this day, although she said, you know, he said that it didn't uh, rise to the level of excusing her conduct that day. Now, Jessica Watkins testified during uh, the actual Oath Keepers trial, unlike some of the other defendants and was apologetic for what she did. And I think that really went pretty far with the judge here because she came in again and was apologetic and referred to herself as one of the idiots who was running around uh, the Capitol that day. Um, and she was not found guilty of the charge of seditious conspiracy, which was that top charge that the two defendants who were sentenced yesterday um, had been uh, had been found guilty of. So she was in a little bit of a different category here. Uh, but she still said that she believes that she had questions about the 2020 election and believes that uh, documents need to be examined and and uh, and ballots need to be examined, but she was apologetic for what she did and broke down in tears um, talking about the impact that uh, that January 6th had on some of the officers. She was describing how she it was a much different experience having watched these videos of what happened on the west side of the Capitol than what happened on the east side of the Capitol, where was where she entered that day. And she did, in fact, join a push against officers inside the Capitol that day. Um, and she was very apologetic for that um, and ultimately was sentenced to about eight and a half years here. So she's already served uh, you know, two and a half years. And if she gets credit for time served, she could be out as, uh, as early as the end of 2027, uh, potentially, Chris.